Hey guys, welcome back. Last time, I think we spent about an hour making Thor that ended up looking nothing like Thor. I apologize for that. I'm not great at the character building. Today, I kind of jumped into my 20 hour or so in save. Um, we just took out this uh, lovely creature. No, not the robot detective there. This Mirelurk queen who was not very happy that I invaded her little fortress here. So we're going to take it for our own and start making a little base. And so I'm going to show you how the how the base creation kind of works in this game. How to build stuff, defend it, things like that. Um, it's not going to be pretty, but much like this Mirelurk queen, it'll try to get the job done and probably fail. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to get the layout of the land real quick. Get up to the top of this thing. Hopefully it sounds a little bit better this week. I tried to finagle some things with my mic. I think it should be a little bit better. If not, I'm sure you'll let me know. Trust me, I will be more critical than anyone. Okay. Looks like we're surrounded mostly by water on this one. Hmm. I'm playing as Oliver Queen, by the way, in case you were interested. Oh, look. Things to kill. Hate it when giant bugs interrupt me. Yeah, anyway. Oliver Queen. More of the uh, comic book version than the show Arrow version. And kind of a little bit of Walter White. That was not intentional, but maybe there's something there. Okay. So surrounded mostly by water, except for this side over here. I'm going to go back into first person mode because that just looks janky. Water on most sides. Here's a good approach. Looks like we already have a little guard tower here. Dude, these things need to just chill out. There you go. Get off my case, stupid animals. Really? Okay. I'll let the other guys deal with him. First thing I'm going to do is build a little bit of defense here. This green is the edge of where our kind of settlement lies. You can pretty much just craft or destroy anything in your camp, break it down for parts. What I'm going to do is set up a little platform, put some little turrets on it. Hopefully that'll keep the uh, unwanted folks out. So you go through my stuff here. Got some stairs here. Out of the way, Nick. You're not helping. So, come straight out of the base. Stairs. I. This seems to be kind of defying gravity here, but you know what? That's fine. I'm a musical fan. I like Wicked. I can get down with that. Sorry. I, I'll try to keep the musical jokes down to a minimum, but I can only do so much. Um, some kind of walkway. Oh, this will work. Oh, I'm out of steel. That's not good. I have to make some more steel later. What? Why do these things need so much steel? That's just ridiculous. <sighs> Give me a sec. No. No, that's why I want it. Let 
You know, I really wish we could just move this giant carcass out of the middle of our little fortress here, but apparently she just kind of wants to hang out, so I don't know. Maybe she'll disappear on her own. Nick, do you have any steel? I could really use some. Mm. Try this. <laughs> There's some steel. Oh, I got one steel. I may have to go buy some. We may need to go to the market. I don't think they have Home Depot here there anymore, though. We're just going to have to make do with what we have. Alright. Let's head to Diamond City. Get some steel. The castle. I like that. Diamond City, market. Here we go. I need to get me one of those. I've only just kind of started to go into the whole base building stuff. At the end of this, uh, I can head over to Sanctuary, the one I've actually built in some, so if you want to see where that's gone. And apparently where all my steel went, it's in Sanctuary. Um, we can go check that out after. Just wanted to do kind of a ground-up thing. Hey, no, dang it. It's night time, so everyone's going inside. Anyone else thinks Percy kind of sounds like Monty Python? Let's see what you got. Might be just me. Mm, junk. See if he just has any shipments of steel. Yes, he does. For more money than I have. Dang it. What we can do, based on the kind of equipment you have equipped, you can raise your charisma, which will basically lower prices at stores and things like that. So let's put on my fancy clothes, and we can see what happens. Got a clean black suit. ZZ Top was right. Sharp, sharp-dressed men get what they want. Let's see what happens. Good black suit. Oh, come on. I could take my wedding ring off, but I don't think the robot wants me to flirt with him. Although, you never know. This is a weird place. I think I have some sunglasses or something like that in here, too. But I think I took everything out of this bench. Oh, well. That's all back at base. We've got the suit. That should help some. Let's see what we can do. Might need to sell some stuff. Okay. That's enough, Percy. Oh, man. I look pretty dang fancy. Um, so, the steel should cost less. But I'm still probably going to need to sell some stuff. 621. That's better than 7, and we're getting closer. Now, what can I sell? No, need that. Need that. 57. And, oh. I don't remember getting this, but I like it. Left leg, right leg. I think I'm using all of this. What can I sell? I don't have any junk on me. Man, I want to sell my pulse grenades, but I might need to. See, I need 621, I've got 509. 24. I might as well, I don't really use these all that much. Okay, that should be enough. I'll go ahead and do it. 653. I'll take it. Alrighty. Back to home. I think I'm enjoying this a lot more than I did Fallout 3. 
didn't get all that much into Fallout 3. Played for a few hours, but I just didn't find the DC setting all that interesting. I don't know. It's cool seeing the monuments and stuff. It's just not the most interesting place to me. Boston, I like. I've been to Boston. Oh, I've been to DC too, and that didn't help. Okay. I'm going to go wait until it's daytime so we can see better. Because that's kind of how daytime works. I just want to trade a few things. Except this fool's in my seat. Oh, crap. Forgot to buy the steel, didn't I? Why didn't you remind me? Alright. One more trip to the market. Sorry, guys. This kind of thing happens when you're stupid. I don't think he's cooking that tomato right. The cutting board's gonna catch fire. Do you? Oh, and I gotta wait. But dang, I look fancy. Wish I could pull a suit off like that in real life. If you sit somewhere, you can wait a few hours for it to be. Basically, so the stores are open. So that's what I'm doing. Sitting at the bar. Alone. Alrighty. Yes, I know. She runs the shop during the day, and her robot runs it at night. Which... It's actually really efficient. Make a lot of money that way. Minus the cost of the robot. Hopefully it's just a one-time purchase. Okay. Whole bunch of steel... Got a hundred of them. Let's hope it's enough. Alright. Now back to the castle. You big dum dum. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. This is about two days ago from when I'm recording this. Thursday, Friday. Yes, it is. And my U of H Cougars beat Navy yesterday, so I'm happy. Because that's the basis for my happiness. I just got really sad. Okay, we've got our steel. Let's go continue our defenses out here if I can remember where they were. I think it's out this way, maybe? Around here, eventually? Might be out this way. Alrighty. Structures, wood. It's the only bridge they have, I believe. This is kind of janky, but it works. Turrets. Man. Take steel to make everything. I'm going to make machine gun turrets because they're cheap. And I like cheap. apparently don't need a generator, which is nice. So I can just go ahead and throw three of them up. Except I'm out of circuitry. Good golly gosh. I need to get some better supply lines in here. Oh, I have an idea. Only on one point of entry. Put a 
a few walls. Apparently they all require steel. Man. Should always diversify, guys. Don't put everything into one resource. Otherwise you end up putting on a suit and running to the city to buy steel at, I don't know, one in the morning, whenever it was. I've lost all concept of time. I'm actually not sure how doors work in this game. You just put them up against something? Nope. That's not how it works. Get the juice out of my face. Okay. How we want to do this? I really wish that would stop snapping to it. I wonder if there's a way to turn that off. That would be grand. Still, they can't get through here, I don't believe. Unless they're really, really small, so that'll... It's not pretty, but it should do for now. Yeah, that'll work for now. Um, hmm. This is in case someone attacks my settlement, by the way. I don't know if I explained that, but brigands will from time to time try to take your stuff and I ain't about that just ain't about that life okay alrighty oh there's a hole in the defenses Just have to put another wall here, I guess. This could have been planned better, but, you know, we learn as we do, right? I still want to know how doors work, because I have no idea. Over here. What I could do is that I don't think that inner wall is going to be necessary after this outer one. I've also left myself no way to get in, but we can worry about that later. People can't fit through there. I'm happy. 
It ain't pretty, but I'm happy. Okay. Got a pretty solid wall here. I would hope. Let's test the outside. Okay, can't get in there. Can't get in here. Can't sneak under here because people in this world are unable to crawl. Although their heads can go through things, which is kind of cool. Nick, what are you doing? Thank you for trying to help, but you're just getting in the way. Stupid robot. Okay, so no getting in from this entrance now, I think. I hope. So water purifier? Cool. Requires five power. I don't know if we have that. We've got a power line running inside, but I don't know what it's going to. Some of the stuff was already set up by the time I got here, and I haven't dismantled all of it, because I haven't decided if I wanted to use it. So we'll check it out and see what we want. If I can find a way to get back into my own castle. I've already got like a moat. I need a drawbridge. I wonder if I can make a drawbridge. That would make me happy. Okay. Where's that power coming in from? Over here. I'm liking that violin. Dude's going to town. Okay. Up. How long is this thing? Good night. This just seems inefficient at this point. Is this the end of the line? I clearly don't know how electricity works. Okay, so this is running this water purifier in through here, but it's not powered, I don't believe. My water is zero, it's obviously not powered. Maybe it runs this way. Straight into that wall. Okay. Never mind. Alrighty, apparently it won't reach that far. Okay, it's coming from here into here. Maybe I can build another tower. Spiked poles, nice as that is, I don't think it's going to help me. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I have no idea how this stuff works. Power pylon, maybe? Put this here, see what it does. Apparently we're just going to have more gravity-defying wires in here, and I'll have to figure this out later. I don't know what the heck is going on. This wire does not want to cooperate. You know what? Scrap it. Scrap it all. You won't listen to me, that's what you get. Yes, store wire in the workshop. I'll figure that out later. So, what have we accomplished? Not a whole lot. We got these turrets up. We've secured this entrance. I'm just going to have to figure out a way to let myself in eventually. Maybe a locked door. Once I figure out how doors work. And then we will go from there. Anyways, let's run back to Sanctuary, the city I've actually built up a little bit. So you can see what I've done there. Once I stop getting stuck in things. Okay. I mean, it's not pretty at Sanctuary, but I think my people are pretty happy. See, 74%. Nine people are 74% happy. That's better than you'll find in any given supermarket, I think. Actually, I raided a supermarket earlier, and it was full of mutants. So that's a bummer. Yesterday was Black Friday, and it's just full of crazy people. I, I'm not sure which one I'd rather have. Oh, look, a giant scorpion. Haven't run into one of those yet, thank goodness. I'm going to try to get a microphone arm as well that swings around so I'm not blocking my face the whole time because I know everyone wants to see that. No idea why, but... Okay, so... Sanctuary, as you can see, real pretty. This is actually where my character started in the game. He was alive 200 years before the war, or during the war 200 years before the present time here. Um, whole long weird story involving cryosleep and stolen babies and weird robot people. But I've kind of built some little barracks over here because apparently people want beds. And so they can sleep in here, wait in here, things like that. As you can see, it's a whole mess of fun right in here. Um, and I can use these beds too if I need to sleep. So I built that structure to let these happy people get the rest they need because clearly, otherwise, they're not ready to face the day. Marcy, you need to stop giving me lip. I've got weapons that I won't use on you because you're my people. That's fine. Um, I built this little structure over here. This houses my power armor, which I haven't really used much, but apparently can be really useful um, in certain areas. But I need to... So think about this game, there's 7 million things to do, and there could be one huge section of the game you never really touch. Um, that for me has been power armor, or almost anything in the main story. Power armor here, you can store your stuff there, jump inside, and if you want to wreck some fools, which I do sometimes. Um, it's a scavenging station, so I've assigned... I can't remember who it was, but I've assigned one of our townspeople to basically just scavenge random materials and put it here, and that helps me building. Apparently this person could not find any steel because of what happened to us earlier. Got our scavenging station here. Chemistry station so I can make bombs, drugs, all sorts of fun things that you sell to children. Um, cooking stove. You can either do a stove or a fire pit. I don't think there's any difference. The game doesn't do a great job of explaining how kind of stuff works, but I think it just works as a normal uh, fire pit. So you can cook anything you want in there. I don't know if it's better or worse. Another bed, because I like to sleep away from the common folk. Armor workbench, build armor, mods, things like that. Uh, I heard you can have a jetpack later. Hopefully I can build one of those. And a weapons workbench, where I make all my fancy guns and things like that. Um, on top of this area, we've got a little guard post on each side. And a generator that powers the siren in case someone invades. So these are all to raise my defense of the area. Um, we've got water on most sides, and I think we're pretty close to the edge of the map. And so we should be somewhat protected on these flanks here. It's just this area we really need to worry about. So, 
And on this thing, I'm going to die. Oh, okay, I'm fine. Built a few water pumps for some more water. I don't see anyone using them, but apparently they do. A few more turrets over here. I think one of these is a laser because lasers are awesome. I think it's a spotlight. And a water purifier right over here so we can drink this nice non-radiated water. And another turret over here. I need to make like a laser tripwire or something. My area ends right here. This is the edge of my base. So someone enters right here, they're invading. So I need to probably put something else on this bridge to protect this area because yes, this is the side I want to protect. This is where all the bad peeps would be coming from. Museum of Freedom, Concord, things like that. I thought that was Concord. Everyone pronounces it in the game like Concord. I looked it up and apparently that's how Bostonians actually say it. So I learned something. Look at that. Alrighty, so it's not much, but a few defense posts. Uh, somewhere everyone can sleep. Got all my crafting stations. I've got some fruit they're maintaining back here for food. And if I look up my little stat at the top of the screen. Got nine people. Um, happiness is at 74. It's still growing. Uh, as areas become a need, they'll start turning red and I'll have to either purify more water, put more power there, uh, more beds, more food, things like that. So the game will tell me as it goes. It's not the best at telling me how to do things. Oh, I can scrap this for steel. Yes. It's not the best at telling me like how to build stuff or the best way to assign people to things. But apparently it does a good job of letting you know when your settlements are attacked and stuff like that. That hasn't happened to me yet. Hello, sir. Alrighty. So that's just a little bit of base building and Fallout. Um, once I learn more about it, I'll probably do another video on it. Um, but that was kind of my first castle area that I'm just starting to build up. And this is Sanctuary, kind of my home base city. And I may end up transferring everything to the castle once it gets a little more... I don't know what this chopper is doing, but it's scaring me. Once I learn a little more about what's going on, that way I have everything consolidated in one place. Um, I do have... If you go to my perk chart, I've got the local leader perk, which means I can build stores and workstations at all my settlements, but I can also, because of my last one, I've established supply lines. So I don't know exactly what that means, if like everything I have here... I can use there, like that's in the workbenches and stuff. I don't really know how that works, but I heard it was useful to do, so I did that, and hopefully it'll come in handy. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of sanctuary. Yeah. Here's some people hammering a wall, pretending like they're working, so I don't put them to harder work. And here's Trash Can Carla, who's not looking so well. Both of you guys look real confused. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back next week. I don't. I might go back to Fallout Thor with my guy who looks nothing like Thor, or I might do some more base building or missions or anything. I don't really know. Um, just stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be fun, and thank you so much for watching. See you later.